Cables and chains are categorized together because they only carry forces in tension and not in compression or bending. We draw both cables and chains with straight lines because that shows that they are under tension. Note that generally in mechanics we will not draw them out unless they are straight and under tension. Cables and chains can be shown to go all directions depending on the structures they are attached to. It is also important to know that the tension along the entire length of a cable or chain at any given point is always the same. Cables are made up of multiple organized wires intertwined together. I have highlighted the individual strands so you can see them better. Chains on the other hand are made of forged links. I have identified the separate links in different colors for you. When we draw a cable or chain under tension from a structure, the direction of the force arrows go in opposite directions from the middle. I have drawn the member in yellow here with the force arrows in red. Remember that the tension is the same at any point along the cable or chain. A real life example would be a suspension bridge that can clearly show how cables distribute forces using tension. Pause the video here to see if you can identify where the cables are and how the force is distributed. I have marked the cables in purple so you can see them better. The suspension cables resist the load of the deck by transferring the weight to the main cables, which I have marked in green. In turn, the main cables along both the side and center span transfer the weight of the deck to the pylons that I circled yellow. These pylons would eventually transfer the force into the ground. The next structural component is an arch. An arch is a curved structural component mainly used to carry forces and compression. However, in this course we will mostly be dealing with horizontal and vertical members, so arches will not come up too much but you will see it in future courses as well as some activities coming soon. I have shown two different ways you can draw arches. When there are forces acting vertically from the top of the structure, we can show the forces being distributed towards the sides and downwards into the ground. I have shown the load path with green arrows. Pause the video to see if you can determine where the arches are in the two pictures. There are multiple arches along the length of the bridge to the left. I have identified them in purple. When there is a distributed force acting along the top of the bridge, the force transfers from the middle of the arch, also called the keystone, and downwards to the ground. I drew the force arrows in blue. Similarly for the pictures on the right, I have outlined the arch in purple. If we assumed a point force was acting at the exact middle, the forces would travel down along the curve starting from the middle, following the direction of the blue arrows.